Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my completed junk journal. This is a super, super old junk journal. This is a smash book. This is actually my last full-sized unfinished smash book, or it was unfinished. Um, I had started it and then I stopped and never did anything else with it. So there's like about half of it that was just unfinished and now it's finished. I have shared the first half of it with you guys before, but for the sake of doing a full completed flip through, I will show you again. Um, it's also been a very long time since I filmed that video. So um, this is the green smash book. This is like the one that has, goes through like the seasons kind of. Uh, so right here, I just have an apple sticker, um, a random butterfly sticker, which I don't actually think is supposed to be here. I think it was probably somewhere else and just ended up here not sure how but that's that so I started this in January on January 1st 2014 which is now 2021 it's a very long time ago but it feels nice to finally have my last smash book completed I do still have a mini smash book that I would like to um get done but we'll see uh, so I started this out trying to do a few pages for each month of the year because it was like the pages are seasonally themed um, but I made it about halfway through the year and then that was it maybe halfway I don't even know I think it yeah about halfway so um, I was trying to do uh, one page a day I think that's what I was trying to do no, what couldn't have been one page a day because I wouldn't fit. I don't know what I was doing, but I started it out very like scrapbooky like, um, like I was treating them more like layouts than junk journal pages. Um, but the ones that I did do, I really like how they turned out. I think they're super cute. I really like this one. It's super simple, but I just think it looks cute. What is my cat doing? Scratching on everything. Oh my goodness. Some of the pages I did more like junk journaling when I just didn't have a lot of time or didn't feel like spending a lot of time. Like here I just slapped some pictures down and did some journaling mostly. Uh, here too. I did it, I was doing a very simple, like I was not doing it very detailed like, interesting. Uh, so there's a picture of my son when he was a little baby. Aww. He was playing with his toys in his crib and he fell asleep. And when he fell asleep, he, he put the little blanket on himself. He was so cute. And he was like a year and a half here. No, a, a year. Less than a year. Oh, he's so cute. Anyway, <laughs> this is a picture from my sister's wedding. Um, I took a picture. This is very old. I took a picture of um, Thickers at Michael's going on clearance for $1.50 because Thickers are expensive. And I used to be obsessed with them. I used to, like, if I could find them for cheap, I would buy all the ones I could get my hands on. Pretty sure I still have these ones just a selfie uh, some pictures of my son picture of the TV uh, some Valentine's pictures it's a purse that my husband got me and watch in a wallet is my Valentine's present more pictures of my son because he's so cute he's much older now uh, this was his first haircut. This was um, when my husband got his Xbox One. And I have some journaling in here. And oh, I just broke that. That's great. Um, a receipt from the zoo and the ticket from the zoo. Um, my sister-in-law fixed my hair. This little flappy flap 
opens. And I think this. No. This doesn't open, but I made it out of a file folder. I don't know why. I don't know. Whatever. I went to the shooting range. That was interesting. My husband had to take my son to work because he was watching him uh, while I was at work and <laughs> he ended up getting called in. So there he is just chilling in his car seat. Fun fact, when my son was little, like when he still fit in this little like rear facing car seat thing, he loved just sitting in it when we were at home. He loved just like chilling in it. Like it was his lounger. He was obsessed with it. <laughs> I know most kids don't like being in their car seat, but he loved it. This was a really old picture of uh, that I had found. This was not like f current to this time when I was scrapbooking, scrapbooking it or junk journaling it, whatever. This was from my cousin's wedding. Um, fun fact, I couldn't stand his wife. Um, but <laughs> this is me. This is why I put the picture in here because this is a picture of me um, watching them in their getaway vehicle. Um, when I was probably like 10 or so. This is a picture. This is gonna be a long video. Anyway, this is a picture of a uh, cow. My son was obsessed with it at one point. He we literally could not go anywhere without cow. Um, but it was just like, it was a tiny little cow just like fit in his hand. A weird selfie. Some pictures of moose because I love moose picture of my husband I didn't want to do anything to this page because I just really liked this donkey in a sombrero uh, some more pictures picture of my son he wanted to take the cat on a walk so he made a leash out of a like the backing of a fruit loop or fruit loop uh, like fruit by the foot it wasn't on tight so it's fine and the cat literally did not care but I just thought it was funny he really wanted to take the cat on a walk have this from when I went to see Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde I feel like this wasn't that long ago but maybe it was I don't know. Maybe it's longer ago than I thought. Anywho, this is where I started um, doing it more recently, which even this wasn't that recent. This was like a year or two ago that I did this. And I just finished the last few pages in you know the last week or so. But this was a thing from my sister's wedding. Um, these are like the little table markers. Um, this is a postcard don't remember where from I don't know I just started sticking stuff in here at one point uh, this is a map from Legoland when I went with my son just like random stuff um, this was a little ticket thing from a winery that I went to um, for my sister's bachelorette party this is a thing my son drew for school Stuck a lot of things in here with paper clips just because I wanted them in here, but they were kind of big. Oh, yeah, this was my son's party hat from his first birthday, but I had not documented it. Like, it was just, it's sitting in a bag, it was sitting in a bag of stuff that I have that I want to document, like ephemera and stuff. The bag, I'm not kidding, is like this thick now at this point it's ridiculous but I you know I'm working on it card from my grandma um this was an invitation that my son got um to a birthday party um in March of 2020 the birthday party was supposed to be like a couple days before his birthday I think um but he couldn't go because he was sick and this was at a point this was like right before COVID hit and he had been sick with like this mysterious fever that was on and off for like literally a month 
and then all of a sudden it just poof went away but he was sick at the time of this and literally like a week later they shut the school down because of covid very interesting <laughs> so this um page is for like left handers appreciation day or something like that and my son is left-handed so i just took some letter stickers and wrote raffi is a lefty then i have this bag that just has a bunch of random stuff this was a um birthday party that he went to in 2019 right before we moved and just some other random stuff a letter I should probably reinforce these stickers because I don't think they're gonna stick very well for very long so tanuki mario sticker literally just all kinds of random junk i just threw on these pages um i actually really love how this page turned out this is probably one of my favorite pages in here i just love this um illustration on this side and i put a little golden crow and look i was smart i taped down the stickers <laughs> um i put the rest of these like little gold stickers this this got stuff on it and i just love how it looks i love how it turned out it's super cool um here i taped down the packaging for the tapatio um makeup that i got it's a halloween craft i recently got the new ColourPop hocus pocus collection so i put some of the packaging in here i kind of just like i really like this image of the kid throwing the leaves so i didn't want to cover it so just made a little flap didn't want to cover these because they're super cute look at that cute little turkey christmas card from my cousin different cousin um a glassine envelope with just a bunch of stuff in it stuff stuff and more stuff a bunch of stickers there um this is like a super old uh smash book um embellishment but it's like a puffy thing and like some stuff in there i don't know i'm just trying to get through this quickly because it's really nothing special most of this i just like stuck in willy-nilly um a bunch of just random stickers uh but it's completed and that's what matters <sighs> she's thick she's real thick but that's okay uh we love her anyway <laughs> I actually really like when my junk journals get super thick and chunky. I don't know, something about the way that it feels, the tactileness. I just love it. I love it so much. But um, I am either going to be working in my Dollar Tree junk journal that I made a long time ago or my mini smash book that I haven't even started yet. I'm not sure which one I'm which one I'm gonna work in. I kind of want the larger size, but I really want to get that smash book used up. So I'll probably work in that one first with some smaller ephemera and stuff. Um, okay, I don't know what I was saying before because I had to pause the video, but I figured while I had to get up anyway, I would just grab these and show you what I was thinking about using next. Turns out I actually have two mini smash books, and I have the like one of the recollections versions. Of the smash books and I have my Dollar Tree junk journal that I made I think I'm gonna hold off on using this for now even though I really like it and I would really like to use it but I really should get these used up first oh and I even have pictures in here was I planning on using this apparently I was Um, well, I've got some pictures in here, so I guess I'll use that one. I mean, not that I couldn't move the pictures, but this one's really cool. This one's like a 3D one. Like, it comes with 3D glasses, and then all the images are 3D, so if you put the glasses on, they'll be 3D. It's super cool. There are some pages that are not 3D, 
which like this image isn't 3D. I don't think the background of this one is, but this is. So this will be really cool, but I don't think I'm going to do this one yet. I even still have the pen. Like, do you guys remember these where it had the pen on one side and had the glue stick on the other? Is the glue stick even good anymore? Let's see. Can I get this out? Let's see if the pen works. There's a sticky note right here. Of course, it's got hair on it. Okay, well, the pen works really well still. Um... The glue stick is actually still moist. <gasps> wow, that's so impressive. I actually really wish they would bring Smashbooks back because they were so cool. And like some of the embellishments that they had, they were just neat. They were just a really cool product. And I wish they would bring them back, maybe a little bit updated, but... That's really cool. Actually, I think I'm going to keep that separate because I'm, I'm going to use that. Um, and then this one is like a ring bound journal. Have I? I thought I had two of these. I might have used one already. Maybe I didn't though. But this was like the Recollections brand, the Michaels brand, like their version of making a smash book and it was very similar except for instead of being spiral bound they were ring bound and then they had a whole line of embellishments that with, with, went with them and everything as well <sighs> tangent here a little bit but is anybody else disappointed by the fact that michael's is like over the last several years has been moving away from paper crafting it breaks my heart so much because they used to be like the go-to place like physical store that was pretty accessible to everybody pretty much and they always had like tons of great paper pads they they had brands like other brands besides their own like they had a ton of tim holtz stuff they had um my mind's eye they had a bunch of other scrapbooking brands they had um k and company and now it's like it's dwindling and it's making me so sad so sad like i went at the beginning of october to michael's i couldn't find any halloween scrapbooking stuff like did i miss it but you would think at the beginning of october they'd still have some and then oh oh my gosh it's it's a whole it's a whole thing it upsets me very much it makes me so sad but anyway that's it i think this is going to be my next junk journal um and i should be able to get through it pretty quickly because the pages are really small but yep yeah, that's it so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did go ahead and give the video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time bye